everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for assignmentsofstamp.com. Today I'm using the all new to all of you stamp set from The Greeting Farm. This is a collaboration stamp set for Stamp Timber and it has all these really cute penguins, a fireplace, a Christmas tree. You could build a scene with all of these images and it would be adorable. But today I'm going to be showing you a different way to use all these smaller images. Starting out by stamping four of the little penguins in Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm stamping this onto some Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'm actually going to stamp the images twice. This is for a couple of reasons. The first one is I want to get a really, really thick black line, and the second reason is my ink pads it is getting just a little bit dry, so in order to get that thick line, I'm going to have to stamp it twice no matter what. So now I'm going to take some green leaf cardstock from Simon and I, I've cut it down to a smaller piece and then I'm stamping the wishing you a Merry Christmas stamp from the stamp set. I'm prepping that area with an anti-static powder tool since I am going to be doing some heat embossing and then I'm stamping the greeting in Versamark ink. This is a really sticky ink. It's perfect for heat embossing. I'll remove that from my Misty Stamp Positioning Tool and then sprinkle on some Alabaster Embossing Powder from Brutus Monroe. I'll tap off the excess and then heat set this with a heat tool until it's smooth and melted. Now you'll notice that the, the greeting is on a curve. I think that's so it can actually be placed above the scene that you're stamping. But since I'm doing something a little bit different today, I thought I would create a banner out of this greeting. So I used a pencil just to draw a curved line uh, below the greeting and also above the greeting. And then I'm going to take my scissors and trim it out so that it's one long curved shape. And then I took my scissors and just cut halfway in to create kind of a V shape on the end here. And I apologize for my camera being out of focus. It was focusing on my grid mat instead of what I was doing since I wasn't centered in the frame. So here I have my uh, curved banner and I'm going to set that aside while I work on other areas of the card. Now I mentioned before that I stamped these images twice, so I just I hit that with my heat tool just for a, a few seconds to make sure everything was dry. That's just going to prevent any ink from smearing. Once this ink is completely dry, it is very Copic friendly and you won't have any smearing or smudging into your images. So now I'm using some Copic markers and doing some coloring. I'm using a very limited color palette, mostly just uh, reds, kind of like a bluish green, uh, green, and then just the penguins themselves. So I'm going to turn on a little bit of music so you can continue watching the coloring, and I'll be back after I've trimmed them out with my scissors. the penguins very close to the lines and then I took a memento tuxedo black marker you could use any 
brush tip marker for this and I painted the edges of each of these images that I've cut out. This is going to um, get rid of any white areas that might be remaining after I cut them out and makes them look just a little bit more finished. I really like to do this on all of these images that I color and then cut out. So now I'm going to work on the card base. The card base is made out of schoolhouse red cardstock from Simon and I've cut that to five and a half by 10 uh, by 11, excuse me. And then I scored that at five and a half to create a finished size of five and a half by five and a half. I took some post-it tape and placed that right above the fold. And then I prepped the area just around the outer edge with an anti-static pattern tool. My idea for the background on this card is to have the three little snowflakes from the stamp set stamped all the way around the outer edge. And then I can place a piece of white cardstock with my images on it in the center. So I don't necessarily need to stamp this uh, pattern over the entire card front. I can just stamp it on the outer edges and that's gonna save me quite a bit of time um, so I don't have to fill in all those areas. So I used some more alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe, uh, tapped off the excess, and then used a heat tool to heat set this. Now, originally my plan was to just do the frame and it would save me some time, but I kind of like how this looks. I think you could actually do this kind of frame and have it show that it's just the frame. I think it would look really cool, but I am still going to go ahead with my other plan. So I'm going to cut down some white cardstock. This is going to be four and one quarter by four and one quarter. And then I'm going to take a little circle die from the nested circles die set from Simon. And I'm going to cut out four little windows for each of these penguins to be inside of. So I've got my ruler here. This is a T-square ruler. I'm just marking the center um, vertically and also horizontally. This is going to give me some quadrants to uh, space my circle die in. So I ran that through four times and die cut those circles. And then I cut down a second piece of white cardstock. This one is going to be four by four, so it's a, just smaller than the other one that I just did. And I'm gonna place that on the back. And use a little bit of washi tape just to hold that in place. And then I'll flip it over. I'm going to take a pencil and trace the inside edge of these circle windows. This is going to give me an idea of where that circle window piece will be over the top. So now I'm going to use four different colors of Gina K Designs ink. This first one I think is called Cherry, I'm not sure what it's called, Cherry something, <laughs> Cherry Red I think. I'm using some blender brushes from Picket Fence Studios. And as I'm blending each one of these quadrants, I'm going to multiple times place that window frame piece over the top and kind of get an idea of how things are looking. I then use sea glass and jelly bean. And then I've got this one up here. I think it's, or maybe the other one's called Kiwi. I can't remember the names of these inks. I'll have them listed down below in the video description in the supply section. So the cool thing about those inks is that they might look splotchy when you first apply them, but they do dry back and kind of flatten out and are much more solid. I then took some narrow foam strips from Darius and put those around the, the circle frames and also around the outer edges and then place it over the top. And then putting some Zyron Mega Runner adhesive on the back and then placing that directly onto the front of the card. So you could also make this into a shaker card this way. I think it would look really, really cool. I, I decided to keep mine very simple and just um, have those windows giving so a little bit of dimension. Put my banner right over the center in the middle of all those windows. And then I put some foam adhesive behind the penguins and then place them directly into those little circle windows. The card's almost finished. I decided that I wanted to have a little bit more detail around those circle windows. So I took a 0 0.05 Copic multi-liner. It's a very, very thin multi-liner and drew some dashed lines around each one of these circles. I'm then going to take a clear Wink of Stella glitter brush pen, and I'm going to add some glitter details onto these penguins. So I decided to coat their scarves and hats, and um, I think I, I put a little bit on the, the coat of the penguin that's wearing that big puffy coat. Um, and this glitter just gives it a little bit more detail, a little more sparkle and dimension, uh, makes it more whimsical. 
So here is the finished card. I think it looks so, so cute. Just a reminder that the stamp set I've used today from the Greeting Farm is a collaboration stamp set for Stamp Timber. So um, it's a limited quantities. And if you want to get the stamp set, now is the time. It will not stay. I'm sure it will sell out very soon. Thanks so much for watching today, and we'll see you in another video very soon.